Hi guys, my name is Shad. In this tutorial, we'll be creating level based measures. Go ahead and open the BI admin tool and then open the BI sample repository in offline mode. This is the admin tool right here. You just click on file, go to open, click on offline. Select the repository file, then click open. There we go. Enter the repository password. Go ahead and expand the simple sales business model. The next thing we need to do is to right click on the F1 revenue logical table. Go to new object then click on logical column. On general tab type product total revenue as the name of the logical column. Once done go ahead and click on column source. In here select where it says derived from existing columns using an expression after you do so click the edit expression button this will open the expression builder leave logical tables selected under category choose f1 revenue under logical tables then select revenue under columns add this to the expression by clicking the button right here after this, just click OK to close the expression builder. Back in the logical column dialog box, click the Levels tab. For the H2 product logical dimension, select Product Total as the logical level. Click OK to close this dialog box. I'll double click the new column right here uh, just to confirm what I did. Product total revenue measure will be added to F1 revenue logical fact table and the H2 product logical dimension which is in the product total level. If you expand H2 product right here, then expand also product total. This is where you will see the product total revenue measure also. Now we can create another level based measure. Just going to minimize uh, all this, right click on F1 revenue. You select new object, then click on logical column, enter the name as product type revenue. When done, click on column source, then select derive from existing columns click edit expression now we are going to add revenue to the expression when done just press ok click on the levels tab choose product type as the logical level for h2 product logical dimension when done just click ok the measure is added to both F1 revenue fact table and the H2 product logical dimension. So now we have these two measures. Go ahead and expand sample cell subject area. We need now to drag these measures to the presentation layer. Either we can drag them from the fact table or we can just drag them from the H2 product logical dimension. Let's drag these to the base facts right here. There we go. Next thing we're going to do is to create a share measure. I'll just minimize this. We are going to right click on F1 revenue to create a new logical column. Enter product share as the name. Once done, click on column source, select derived from existing columns using an expression, then open the expression builder. Here we'll need to select functions under category, then mathematic function under functions. On the last group, 
which is mathematical function, select round. For this time, you can double click on round uh, to add it to the expression. Inside the formula, click where it says source number. There we go. Enter 100, then the multiplication sign. Then put a space after the multiplication sign. Now click on logical tables right here. Then click F1 revenue, then select revenue. Insert into the function. Go ahead and click the division sign from down here. Click where it says expression. Some version show it as EXPR. When done, go ahead and add product total revenue into the function. Over here, that's logical table, F1 revenue, then product total revenue. Now go ahead and click where it says uh, digits. Enter the number one. This represents the precision digit to which the integer will be rounded. An analysis with this measure will indicate how revenue of a product compares to the total revenue for all products. Click OK to close the expression builder. Then OK again to close the logical column dialog box. Now drag product share to base facts. There we go. Now go ahead and save the repository and then check global consistency. No errors, so I'll just click OK. Next thing to do is to test our work. You can also check on earlier tutorials on how to load the repository. In BI Analytics, you can either click here where it says Analysis, then Sample Cells, or you can click on New, then click on Analysis. From the subject area folders here, expand base fact, then confirm that the measures we created are available. Expand all the products folder, then select product column, select also revenue from best facts, then select product type revenue, then product share. On the product share column, click on the drop down here, then click column properties, Go to the data format tab and then select override default data format. On treat numbers as, uh, just choose percentage. Set decimal places to 2, then deselect use 1000 separator. Now click OK to close the column properties dialog box. In the selected columns, I'm going to sort the product share in ascending order. There we go. Now click the result. Product type revenue is showing the revenue generated by a specific product type. On the other hand, the revenue column shows the revenue for a specific product. To understand it better, think of type as uh, brand names e.g. JVC, Sony, Apple or Boss. Within each brand, you can have specific products. Product share is showing the percentage of total revenue for each of the product. That is it guys, stay tuned for next tutorial, uh, we'll be talking on how to create logical dimensions with parent-child hierarchies. Until then, good luck.